Hello, welcome to this video. You are watching DevX Tips. And the tip for today is how to perform a blue-green deployment using Kubernetes with and without Istio. So let's take a look here on what we have in our test environment. Okay, so let me clear this console here. And we have a hello microservice version one. It's implemented using Java and that calls Ola, which is hello in Portuguese, version one, it was implemented using Node.js. So this is the name of the pod and there is a counter here. So uh, here I have the command kubectl get deployment uh, using the watch com command. So every two seconds this is updated. Uh, what I will do now is, perf is perform a new deployment. If we take a look here inside the microservice for demo folder, by the way, the source code for this demo is in the video's description. And inside the microservice Ola, the Kubernetes, I have here a deployment file. This caused the deployment of Ola v1. As you can see, it has three labels, app equals Ola, version equals v1, demo e equals a CI CD. This version v1 is used as a label for the deployment and also for the pods that this deployment creates. And there's also the version v1 environment variable here. But I don't want, if I want to deploy v2, I don't want to perform a rolling update. I don't want to replace v1. So I created previously a new file here called Ola v2, a deployment called v2. Of course, I updated also the labels from version v1 to version v2 as the name of the deployment and the name for, uh, of the pods. And of course, this uh, creates a deployment called version v2. If I deploy this YAML file here, v2 will not be in immediately available. Why? Because if I run the command kubectl describe in the namespace microservice for the service Ola, I can see that the selector for this service is app equals Ola and version equals v1. So this deployment here is will not be considered. So let's deploy it. kubectl create dash f deployment v2. So that created Ola v2 and in a couple of seconds it will become available. Okay, we can see run the command kubectl get pods in the namespace microservice. You can see it's running but it's not selected here. Okay, uh, what we can do to make it available? Well, we can first, let's clear this console, clear and run the command kubectl edit service in the namespace microservice, the service Ola. That will open the YAML file here that I can replace the version v1 to version v2. Once that I save, it will automatically change from version one to version two. That's performed immediately. But note that I edit the file. Suppose that you want to automate the deployment. Suppose that you are using a CI CD deployment and once that you perform uh, approval, you want to change from V1 to V2. So what we can do is automate this editing by patching the file. How we can perform the patch? First, let's get the output of this service here get service in the namespace microservice, the service Ola using the output JSON. This is the JSON output of the file. To help me, I will use this browser here. The browser uh, I opened in the JSON editor online. You can look for that in Google. And once that you update and you can see the code and the tree. You can navigate in this object. So what I will do is patch this object. Note here that inside this service, I have another object called spec. Inside this spec object, I have another object called selector. 
that has the version v2. So let's write a patch in the command. kubectl patch uh, in the namespace microservice the service ola and the patch is first I have my service object then I will get the spec object right inside the spec object I have the selector so selector object inside my selector object I have the version and the version now I want to point to v1 here is running v2 and I want to point to v1 once that I run this patch command it will send to v1 if I want to send to v2 again I just change the patch command and it is now a pointing back to version v2 so that's how I performed blue green deployment using Kubernetes pure Kubernetes but now I will show how to perform that using Istio to use Istio I need to point at the same time for both versions for v1 and for v and v2 how can I do that using Kubernetes I, need, I will remove the version label from my selector. I can do that by using new value in my patch. When I use a new value, the version selector is removed. As we can see here, kubectl describe the selector with the, the version was removed as my selector now the consequence is that both pods are endpoints of this service now I can go to Kiali note here that kubectl get pods in the namespace Istio I have Kiali deployed let me run this script here Istio open Kiali and now inside Kiali, I can navigate to services. I have my service Ola. The service has two deployments. Okay, I have the deployment Ola v1 that I deployed some days ago, and Ola v2 that I just deployed today. Okay, the service uh, is sending requests to both workloads. Now I can go to actions and suspend the traffic, for example, to v2, v2 and keep v1 connected. I create that rule. And you can see that immediately it is sending traffic only to v1 if I want to change that I can update the traffic connect disconnect v1 connect v2 and update the rule and we can see here that it was updated using Istio and Kiali for this example I hope that you enjoyed and for more tips like this please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Twitter Thank you so much.